When it comes to cybersecurity and hacking, staying ahead of the curve isn't just an advantage, it's a necessity. And that's where Rust, the modern programming language, comes into play. Rust is not just making waves in the programming world, it's revolutionizing how hackers, security researchers, and developers approach their craft. Today, I'll explain why Rust is considered the future of hacking and why you should pay attention. Rust is a systems programming language designed with safety, speed, and concurrency in mind. It was developed by Mozilla and has grown rapidly since its debut in 2010. What sets Rust apart is its ability to eliminate some of the biggest headaches in programming, memory bugs. For hackers, this is a game changer. No more frustrating segmentation faults or memory leaks. Rust ensures that your code runs efficiently and safely without sacrificing performance. If you've ever worked with C or C++, you know the pain of managing memory manually. Forget one little pointer and your program might crash, or worse, create a security vulnerability. Rust takes that pain away with its strict memory ownership model. And for us in cybersecurity, this isn't just a convenience, it's a tool to prevent vulnerabilities that attackers might exploit. Here's the kicker. Rust isn't just about defense, it's also about offense. Imagine building hacking tools or exploits in a language that guarantees your code won't crash due to simple memory mismanagement. Tools like Rust Scan and Ferox Buster are prime examples of Rust's power in action. These tools are faster, safer, and more reliable than many of their predecessors. For penetration testers, having tools built with such precision makes our jobs not only easier, but more effective. If you're thinking, but isn't Python enough for hacking? Let me clarify. Python is amazing for prototyping and scripting. It's fast to write, and libraries like Scapy and Paramico make hacking a breeze. But Python has limitations. Speed is one. Security vulnerabilities in Python code, particularly with dependencies, are another. Rust bridges this gap by offering both speed and safety. Plus, Rust's support for cross-compilation means you can target different systems seamlessly, whether it's Linux, Windows, or even embedded devices. Now let's talk about concurrency. Rust was built for it. In a world where multi-threaded applications are becoming the norm, Rust's fearless concurrency model ensures your code runs without race conditions. For hackers, this means writing multi-threaded exploits, fuzzers, or tools that perform tasks in parallel without worrying about breaking your code. Imagine writing a fuzzer that works 10 times faster simply because Rust manages concurrency so well. Another the reason Rust stands out is its growing community and ecosystem. The tools and libraries being developed in Rust are simply incredible. Tools like RipGrep, a super-fast grep replacement, and BAT, an enhanced cat command, show how Rust can take familiar concepts and turbocharge them. And the best part? The cybersecurity community is embracing Rust. Look at GitHub, and you'll see countless projects in Rust that focus on penetration testing, cryptography, and malware analysis. And here's something you'll love. Rust makes it easier to write malware, too. Now, before you raise your eyebrows, let me explain. Ethical hackers and researchers need to understand malware to build defenses against it. Rust's speed and low-level access make it perfect for writing stealthy payloads and advanced evasion techniques. The malware industry is already catching on to this, so if defenders don't adopt Rust, they'll be left behind. By the way, if you're enjoying this deep dive into Rust and its potential for hacking, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to stay updated on the latest in cybersecurity and hacking, Subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. You don't want to miss what's coming next. Now you might wonder, is Rust hard to learn? The truth is, Rust has a steeper learning curve than Python or JavaScript. Its strict compiler and rules can be intimidating at first, but trust me, once you get the hang of it, you'll appreciate how much Rust helps you write better code. Plus, the documentation is some of the best you'll find, and the community is incredibly welcoming.